goes in. So first couple of bands coming through. That's Cafe and Clubhouse out of the mix. Coastline gone as per usual. We finally get our Oregon pit. Been few and far between, but now we get one. Villa's gone. And then we're ending it on Consulate. Two favourites here, Tim. Follows suit and whether Santos can come out with a big performance here on Oregon. As it stands, W7M have played there twice. They've lost there twice. So these games where we've got bottom teams playing each other. Sometimes it's difficult to see where that importance might lie and it's easy to write it off. Believe me, this one is huge That's for Nitro. Both. Beautiful explosions come through. Dodo going the way of the Dodos as he's now with Stink. Mighty on the trade back. Mighty with the second as well. The dominance coming out from the Nomad as he charges in. Unfortunately, Tim, he doesn't clear his angle. He doesn't look towards the right. He runs into an unknown position and gets obliterated because of it. Meaning the round and from Gardena. It seemed like almost that was a love tap to activate him. You wind him up and you send him into cause carnage. But the response was only one frag. Instead, the replies are coming back through. And we're seeing that kill feed being filled up with blue. Gee for the final frag there as he'll shut the man down with the vector and end their chances, annihilating the Nomad and restricting any more coming out. Too much more of the round to try and get top four control. Hell will try to peek around. Scardinia covers his man with a kill onto Herds. That's going to allow him to pick the man up in game range. No time, no chance. And potentially no one left alive. No survivors here for Santos, Tim. As Dodo in a one versus three. Sure, he's finding frags, but he's not going to be able to drop the diffuser and get it down. Meaning his chance in the round. His seconds in the round, you're all so isolated. Isolated. You're not next to one another. You can't trade for one another. And you're not even given a chance to fight back as Herds with the Org rotating around and ripping them to pieces. Gets once, which is on the second. Padron comes in for the final killing blow. Oh, Tim, it's all been torn down from the base level. They've taken We're now out. down to 50 seconds, and I'm looking at this thinking, have Santos shown us an ability to be able to, you know, execute in the last 30 seconds of a round, and when they really do not look like being moved for a second. Padron and Panico come out with kills there to finish things off, and that's going to be round number five, going now to W7M 5-0. Tim. Are we in the way back across as well? Suspecting the push for the second, but busting through the doorway, coming in, Tim, as he'll slam the door close in his face. Dodo will strike, and it's down to a two versus four. Did not expect to be pushed by two men simultaneously then and paid the price ultimately. We find ourselves now two versus three as Gee will round 15. He's got one bullet left oh! in him, but how about that from Padrin? What a finish! Gets himself a double nitro. Good night. How has he done? One with that L85 as he flicks onto the first. Adjusting back across with the SMG. Should win out in that encounter, which he will. Takes down Mighty, turning onto the second. Tim, he's doing it. He's putting it in the 1v1, but he's got 10 seconds effectively. He passed, but he sees the foot. Tim, he spotted the foot of hell. He adjusts and he clutches it. He's got about six seconds left. Oh no, the size 11s have given the game away. Oh, no. Why not have a cheeky look at it on your way past? And that was unbelievable from Panico. One versus three to finish ring off. If anything, the first two kills were the better two. You know, yeah, that was seriously heads up. But it's one in a million that no, you find somebody's foot. Of the opposition in that. in that one. So we get our way through the ban phase here. We know who's going to be taken out of commission as we go back in. W7M. A of course, those ADSs really prove proving to be quite an annoying bit of kit. Push coming around for Panico. Basically in a one versus five. Now at this point, his teammates are all down and that's all that it will take to actually deal with him. Hell will peek out, picks his way through him. They clean up Tim and the opening round goes the way of Santos. Just as we have become very used to those one, as you see, because it all depends on the fuse that you've given that grenade a second shorter and it would have blown his man off the rappel and it might have done him some favours as he goes in and gets shut down by... Santos, but right now we find Adrian, and that is going oh. to be the case. But it won't stop Cyprus peeking round the corner and getting a kill and leaving the diffuser cold on the ground. There is work to be done oh, now. No. This is a great partial retake. I will say. Location across as well as he will have to charge in as he sprints out. It's an easy angle. They knew where he was coming from. Easy peek from Dodo. Spams out. Couple of bullets. Jobs are good. No problems at all for Santos to close the round out there and.
Really interesting. We do see the trades coming out early on. G gets a kill. We see Scardina and Hell both being dropped. Diffuser is already down. So this is a rapid round. The way it's approaching, talking a speed. Look at this man, Dodo, fast and furious. No care for his own safely. A reckless disregard as he dives out through the broken wall. Clears out on the first. Cypress trying to do the same as he's charging around. Issue is, he is stuck. Trapped in location. Taking damage and getting obliterated by bullets. As Herd will be the one to pull the trigger and end the life of the man. W7M just moving, just with holding and watching angles, waiting for defenders to move and Dodo will satisfy that criteria as he moves himself into a line of sight and loses life but Mighty will get him, that is potentially a bit of a problem. Padrin will move in now, he's taking damage, dies on his way in, Diffuser is dropped and now it is up to Guy, the def smoke grenades have worn off, what a round for Santos! There we go, they clean up, Santos coming back through. Although, we did see Dodo dropping out, so it seems like, of course, we will have to get a rehost on the goat to get him back to in. To try and slow him down on his warpath, but what will stop him the most is the bullets. That will leave him dead in his tracks as he gets riddled, sweating bullets. It's Padrin that peeks and Padrin that punishes him. Certainly sweating Waiting bullets. For the push to come in needs to keep his focus on the position, though, and unfortunately for him, his teammates are being punished in every available angle. So many firefights going down. A couple of hits, but they're in close proximity. He still peeks out. Oh, no. He gets the shot across. It almost looked like he should have won that encounter, but instead he's dropped and he's left dead. Who would have thought at this stage we would be saying W7M3-4 hours half expected a 7-0-7-1 return? Padrin gets one. Padrin gets two. There's the response from Hell. Looking like smoking Joel Fraser the Hellraiser as he flicks over onto Padrin. Takes him down with smoking flavor. He coming through. That's a two on two. Now it's a do or die round. This is we'll anyone it. but me. Rotates around on the other side. Mighty with one. Cypress coming in second on the Gee And Santos. They looked like they were destined to win it. It got a little bit shaky in the mid portion, but in the end, they bring it back, they lock it down, and they slam into another a miss, round. Swing and a miss as it'll explode with less than any real impact. But talking of impact, here he comes. The man popping off hurts as he's herding them all towards their end. Frag off the frag, Tim. Just swinging on him like a lunatic. Drops three of them into the round. The response comes back in from Geet to put them to bed. That's a hell of a way to pick up a round from W7M. From 0 to 60 real quick there. They're on X game, have the same blessing. Peak coming around from Cyprus, 2K into the round as they're all going down and it's just left on Panico. This is your they're giving him 1v1s, Tim, but he's just not hitting his shots. And Santos will secure the bag. They will lock it down. Oh, there is a timeline there, by the way, where if he gets that first frag, you then put it, turn back around to player coming up the spiral staircase. That is what it's going to take. We can see shots are being exchanged here and two quick kills go to Santos. They are on their way to securing their first point here. This could... There is still a lot of work to be done and even more as Cypress will shut down herds. Surely this is the moment for Santos. They find them... Show up. Will he be able to prove that his price has gone up for a reason? Unfortunately not, as he's executed. Response comes in from Panico, though, as he pops off onto the first, but that's it. There's no more to be done. The Santos... Toss Sun has come through with a superstar clutch as they steal it away. They scrape by and clutch it out. Seven to four off the back of the rehost. They come what in. What a result for Santos and what a heartbreak for W7M coming out after such a big start from them. That is going to hit hard that they have not taken at least two points there, that they've lost that second. Yeah, round. it will be. How you doing, Padako? Hello, guys. I'm fine. And you? Yeah, good, good man. Thank you. Even better now we get a chance to talk to you, of course. Uh, well played tonight, obviously, with a 1-1. One, one. I'm not so happy about that. <laughs> no? What, what no. do you think could have gone differently? How, how do you think coming into it? Because obviously, first map, that was ridiculous. Like, I've got to say, it was crazy. What went wrong? Um, to tell you the truth, uh, our consulate is hmm. not our, like, one of our best maps, but we practiced this map uh, like uh, five days to this week and try to use it because uh, we almost know everything they will do on this map but mm. they just adapt and on us and can do nothing I think everybody at home wants me to ask about the same thing, Panico, and that is the one versus three clutch on Oregon that you managed to hit to close things out. It was an absolutely fantastic play, so well done for that.
when you were going for that third man who was in freezer, did you see his foot in the drone hole or were you just checking? Uh, the, that one, one is fine. It's funny. Uh, my teammate had, had me a call that he didn't leave the freezer. And when I was coming up the, the hallway, I broke the, the Goyo shield, so in my head, I know he can't go further to try to pick me on my back. So I just see a, a black thing on the drone uh, hole. I just shoot that. <laughs> it was an unbelievable finish. It was fantastic to watch. Oh, oh thank you. It was sick. And that also makes sense. I think that, that was what you said in the moment, Ace, when we saw it. So uh, it, it does make sense as a play. I, I want to touch on something you mentioned there as well, where you were saying about, in terms of the practice, obviously, the five days of practice on Consulate, was that also obviously trying to anti-strat them going into it so you knew how they played and then they just completely played against their, their normal games you had seen? Or, or was that not the case? Yeah, that's the case. We extrude the last Consulate they play. Mm -hmm. and they they just changed some things and those things they changed was i don't know not stuck on our head so we can't we can't read them right right okay in map number one on oregon panico you were just winning across the team not just yourself the whole team w7m were just winning every single gunfight and then it just obviously something changed into consulate. I don't know, was it the break that changed or maybe the rehorse that we saw? Was it a little bit of a break in momentum, do you think? Uh, I think we, we are not comfortable comfortable playing the, mm. this map. If you see our bands on the previous tournament and the last games, you can see we only ban consulate every game, but now for this game, we try to play it and yeah, to go wrong. Uh, sorry. It's okay. Uh, will it be banned next week, do you think? <laughs> Is it going back on the ban list? Uh, probably so. <laughs> <laughs> oh man well it's always a treat to speak to you panico of course um commiserations obviously for losing out there on consulate but to everyone that was supporting you and excited to see w7 open playing today is there anything you want to say to the fans uh we are just a new team to, trying to prove ourselves again but this time it went so f it went, went fine on the first map but this last map i'm i'm still not happy about that <laughs> it's all good man it's still always lovely to speak to you though thank you so much for thank popping you. on again man it's it's great to chat to you thank you good night thanks man